When it comes to synced databases, you can find them via the slash command. And for example, if I type Asana, I can see there are two options for Asana. I can embed an Asana link as a preview, for example, similar to Slack, Jira, to GitHub, and GitLab. Or I can create a synced database from Asana. By pasting a link, Notion would create a database that is native within Notion, and it is read-only. Although you can also add properties that are Notion-specific, like relations and formulas. We're going to see this in detail later. And you can see here that these are the available apps as of today for synced databases, GitLab, Jira, Asana, and GitHub. In this video, we are exploring how to use Asana to create a synced database in Notion, what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. And keep in mind that the process for creating a synced database works exactly in the same way for all the other tools as well. It's just a matter of pasting the URL. So let's look at how it works exactly. For this demo, we are using an Asana project, which is called Engineering Project Plan. That is only a template with some sample data. And this is a project with multiple milestones or phases and each milestone will have tasks just like this and each task can also have subtasks and i can visualize the data in different forms in asana so here i'm going to copy the url of this board and back to notion with my asana sync database option selected i will first be prompted to connect my asana account And you can see that here, I can paste the link if there are multiple ones in Asana, or I can just select from the list of projects that show up on the selection menu right here after connecting Asana. So in my case, I want to pull engineering project plan and I will select that project. And after a few seconds, the Notion database will be created automatically with all the tasks and milestones synced up here. Here it is. That's the sync database from Asana. Let's open it in full page and calculate how many tasks there are. Let's wrap this column and freeze it. And you can see here, I can quickly access the original Asana project. And I can also see the latest sync. There is no really clear information out in the public in terms of how often the sync happens. What Notion says in the documentation is that the sync happens continuously. So it seems to be immediate whenever there is a change in the source. The sync database will be changed as well. And you can see here, there are a few seeming relation properties like Asani. There is the project that this belongs to. The section, these are the milestones in the Asana project. Completed, which seems to be a relation to a completion date or data. And description and created at. And as you can see here, this is a simplified view of a Notion database because if I click on the three dots, some options are missing. And what I can do is I can name this view. I can choose a layout. So if I want to visualize this in a board view, I can go and do board and group by we might do the section, for example, with all the milestones right here. We can also hide and show properties as needed. Filter. As well as sort the data. So these actions are similar to what you can do in any Notion database. And each task in this board or in this database is a page. So you can open it at any time. And you can see here, there is a quick link to the original task URL in Asana. There are the properties that we just saw, and you can see that you can't really change them. You can only change the visibility within the database, as well as order them like so. And these are the properties, the data points that are coming from Asana. That is why they are fixed. You can't change them. They are read only. And for the project, you can click on it to open the project in Asana specifically. And for the section, if you click on it, it will open another page that links to the original section in the Asana project, but it doesn't have any additional data and it is not a page that is modifiable. In addition to the default properties that are synced automatically from Asana in this case, or Jira or GitHub, whatever tool you're using, you can also add Notion specific properties and only some advanced properties. So if I click on add the property, you can see here, I can add these properties as in any Notion database. And I can also add relations, formulas, roll-ups. So this can become useful when I want to sync this data with my wiki, for example, in the use case that I'm using Asana for project management and task management and Notion for knowledge management. That's where the relation property can be useful in this case, because then you can manage the specific links between documents and tasks from Notion directly, whereas your project management can still happen in Asana in one single place. And to look at the sync in action, you can see here we have this backlogged idea, which is performance improvement scoping as a task in Asana. It is on the backlog ideas. And in Asana, let's say I want to change the status of this task to planning. 
So let's go back to motion and look at how soon the sync will happen. And after a few seconds, the task was moved to planning. And in this case, I did not refresh the database manually. But if you want to refresh the sync manually, you can also click on the three dots, go to the source section, and you can sync the database right here by clicking this button. That is all there is to know, fundamentally speaking and practically speaking, regarding Notion synced databases as of December 2023. This feature is still in beta, so we may expect updates, improvements, a possible expansion of tools available in the future. For now, that is all. Bye and see you soon.